Hello everybody, this is Jonathan and Angela Scott, the Big Cat People, talking to you from our home here in Nairobi, Kenya. This is one of our YouTube behind the shot chats. So to give you a little bit of information and detail as what was going through our heads, what was the situation when we took this particular shot from our fine art collection? It's actually one of our limited edition prints and it's called Kike, the Wonder of the Savannah. And this particular shot is a very important picture to us, not least because Kike was one of our favorite cheetahs. We filmed her in 2003 in Big Cat Week, our TV show. And uh, she became famous, so sort of uh, did I, because she jumped on the roof of my car. She sat there just as she would up on a termite mound. And then she peed and pooped, as cheetahs are want to do, marking, leaving a scent mark for another cheetah that might pass by. And she did that through my roof hatch. And uh, as I often say to people, hey, you know, the game was all this hair. So Kike was a very special cheetah. She was very habituated to vehicles. But in this instance, she did that very thing that she was doing when she jumped up on my car. She climbed up onto a termite mound to get herself up on a rise for a look round on a beautiful late evening. As the sun set, an inky black sky behind her. And she was just marooned up on this termite mound. And this, you know, it gave a sense of the habitat, of the environment. Because so often, when you come on safari, you want to get the big shot. You want to get the portraits. But in this instance, we're so often looking to give you a sense of what is the animal's environment. So the enormity of the landscape of the savannah, which is her natural home. This inky black sky behind her. And then this beautiful athletic, aquiline cat sitting on the mound or standing on the mound. And we took numerous pictures because when she came up onto the mound, she stood there, she turned her head, looked out across, out of the left-hand side of the picture, but her tail was hanging down. So it was just looked like one of her four legs. And then, just briefly, she turned her head again and up came the tail in this beautiful curve, mirroring the sway of her back and the lovely shape of her head. That was the shot. And so this shot captures the magic of Africa, the magic of the savannah, the open grasslands and woodlands that cheetahs thrive on. And there's a poignancy to this picture because we are told by the scientists that there are probably no more than 7,100 wild cheetahs left in Africa with a handful in Iran, the Asiatic cheetah. And one of the problems for cheetahs is they find it very difficult to raise cubs. So they have larger litters than lions and leopards because they lose a lot of their cubs. A cheetah will find a den to hide her cubs, as Kike would do somewhere around Musiara Marsh, but there would always be lions, always hyenas. And so that's why there are less cheetahs, one of the reasons. But another reason is the fact that every year we estimate 300 cheetahs are stolen from the wild in East Africa and smuggled to the Middle East where they're kept as exotic pets. And 70% of those cubs never make it. They die either during the journey or shortly afterwards. And a cheetah in captivity as an exotic pet can cost maybe $10,000. At what price freedom? And how insane is it now, in today's world, that we should be keeping big cats in captivity when they would be otherwise doing so much better in the wild? So that's the story behind this particular shot. It's one of our fine art prints. It's a limited edition. It captures the magic of Africa. And we would love you to have it on your wall. And this month, the month of December, it was World Cheetah Day. And we're making December World Cheetah Month. And that means that every cheetah picture in our fine art collection, whether it's an open edition or limited edition print, is going to have its sale price or its retail price reduced, a sale of 20% off that value. And then 10% of the sale profits will go to the Cheetah Conservation Fund, of which we're very proud to be patrons, who are doing so much 
to address the issues facing wild cheetahs and also trying to stop the illegal trade in cheetah cubs. So enjoy, we hope that you will love cheetah, the wonder of the savannah, and that it will be one of the pictures that you will have on your wall to remind you of Africa and these extraordinary big cats. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you.